Good afternoon, my smart students. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's mathematics class and today we are going to continue the lesson that we have started last week about time to the half hour. So, let's read the day and date before we start and I want you also to get your math book because we're going to use it later on. So everyone, who will help me today to read the day and date? Me. So let's read the day. The day is Sunday and the date is May 10, 2020. Thank you for helping. So everyone, in the previous lessons we have learned that there are two types of clocks. One of them is analog clock and the other one is digital clock. So everyone, on the analog clock you can see two hands, one of them short and it points to the hours and the other one is long and it points to the or to the minutes. Okay, so everyone. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to tell and write time to the nearest half hour. Here we go, mental math. I want you to subtract these numbers. Remember everyone to put the big or the large number on the top, okay? And the small number below. I am going to do the first example. <clears throat> and you are going to do the second one. So what I will do is to write or to line the numbers carefully. Okay, so let me write 43 minus 13. 13. Well done. So 3 minus 3 equals 0. And more on the top, no need to stop. So 4 minus 1, 3. So what is the answer? 30. Okay, good. Try to do this everyone. And now let's move to the problem of the day. Yay. Okay, so everyone, till what time is showing? write the time so everyone if you want to read the time first of all you're gonna look at mm, the short or the big the short sorry or the long the short the short so you're gonna look at the short one first and the short one mm, points to the hours or to the minutes to the hours to the hours well done so let's look at the short one first where's the short one here we go so the short one points to number 10 10 so it's 10 and look at the long one it points to the or it points to number 12 so it means zero 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 minutes Okay, because the long hand will move okay from here and here is the start line let me say so it's zero minutes so it's 10 o'clock exactly okay so let's move to number two so look at the first sorry look first at the our hand which is the short hand and it points to number five so we're going to write five then look at the long one and it points to twelve it means zero minutes zero minutes so we're going to write here zero minutes it's five exactly it's super easy right everyone but I want you to practice more because uh, learning, if you want to learn the time, 
properly you need to practice look at the clock that you have in your house and try to read the time and you can ask the help of your mom your dad or your siblings and here we go there are two videos will help you to learn more about time to the half hour so click on the link watch the video and also you can find the videos in the description below so everyone you can show time to the half hour one half hour is 30 minutes one half hour this is very important okay so one half hour is 30 minutes these clocks show half past two excellent so everyone in the previous lesson i have explained to you what does the word half mean do you remember the example of the pizza we cut the pizza into two halves and if you look over here you're going to see that the long hand cut the hour into two parts or into two halves so look at the uh, let me say the long one it's not going all around the clock it stopped in the middle of the way as you can see so if the long one stopped in the middle of the clock you can say that it's 2 30 or half past 2 so look at the short one the short one is in between right so the short one is coming from two o'clock but is it three no not yet it's still in the way it's halfway around two and three so we can say it's two thirty two thirty because it's not three yet okay so everyone i want you to bring any analog clock from your house please get it because uh together we're going to learn how to read the time to the half hour so first of all i want you to look at my analog clock as you can see there are two hands short hand and long hand so if you want to read the time first you're going to look at the short one so can you tell me what time is it it's two o'clock it's two o'clock yes it's two and it's exactly two exactly two because the uh, long one uh, is pointing to 12 and it means zero zero minutes okay so everyone I want you to um, okay move the long hand okay keep moving the long hand see if you if you move the long hand the short one will move too okay so the long one is traveling but it will stop in the middle of the clock okay so do you see that so where's the short one it's it's in the middle yeah it's in the middle between two and three between two and three but it's not three yet it's not three yet and look at the long one it's in the middle of the clock, clock. halfway around halfway around. around so in this case we're gonna uh, say that the time here is two thirty or half past two two well done so okay everyone i want you to open page 601 okay write the day and date and let's do these questions together okay the first one is uh question number four i want you to look at the analog clock you have here the analog clock and down the 
uh, the digital clock okay so what you're going to do first is to look at the short one so as you can see the short one is between 10 and 11 right so it's not okay everyone now I want you to open page 601 and write a day and date before you start as you can see here there are an analog clock and also a digital clock so what you are going to do is to read the time and then write it um, let's say over here and also down so first of all or if we want to read the time there are some steps to follow we need to look at the short hand first and as you can see over here the short hand is between 10 and 11 okay so it's coming from 10 but it's not 11 yet so as you can see it's in the middle it's between 10 and 11 don't be confused at all everyone you can uh, directly say 10 why are you gonna say 10 because it's not 11 yet so you're gonna write over here 10 so now you will look at the short one no of course you're gonna look at the long one the minute hand and as you can see it's in the middle and the long hand cut the analog clock into two halves okay it's the halfway around it's the halfway around as you can see so you're gonna write 10 30 and over here half past 10 okay so let's move to question number five also everyone keep your eyes uh, on the clock read the short one first as you can see the short one is between five and six is it six yet no no it's not six yet it's going it's moving to six but it's not six yet so it's coming from five so we're gonna write five okay everyone and then look at the long one and as you can see the long one is in the middle halfway around the clock so we're gonna write 5 30 and here half past 5 let's move to the last one over here so look at the short one first it's between 11 and 12 so is it 12 no no it's not 12 because it's in the middle of 11 and 12 it's coming from 11 but not reaching 12 so we're gonna go to number 11 so the time is 11 30 because as you can see the long one is in the middle is in the middle and it's tapped half or in the middle in the middle okay and it's not going all around the clock it stopped in the middle of the clock so we're gonna write 11 30 so it's half past 11 now everyone move to page 602 write the day and date and let's read the question together and then try to understand please underline what do you need to know okay and we're gonna solve after and check our answer so first of all let's say um, let me say say woke up at half past seven okay he needs to leave for school one hour later show and write the time he needs to leave for school okay everyone so in the question safe woke up around 7 30 right and he needs to leave the school after one hour so what we're going to do is um we will okay travel one hour around the clock okay so see you look at the time okay okay everyone so as you can see it's seven it's seven 30 so the short one is between 7 and 8 and the long one points to number 6 so it's in the middle of the clock so if I'm gonna move the let me move it I'm gonna 
just move the long one and when I get in the middle of the clock I will stop see so one after one hour what time is it now 8 30 so everyone we traveled only one time around the clock so it's 8 30 well so let's go so let's go back to the question everyone as you can see that safe woke up at half past seven and after one hour it will be half past eight okay so what we're going to what we're going to do is to draw the short one between eight and nine okay i'm going to fix it it should be between okay it's it is between oh oh what happened okay one more time it's between eight and nine the short one and the long one is in the middle okay it's in the middle so what time is it everyone 8 30 8 30 okay everyone thank you for listening have a great day and take care of yourself bye yeah sorry before uh, i said to you bye and the lesson is done but there is a game over here don't forget to play the game have fun everyone now i can say bye and have a great day